Open Knowledge International OKI, known as the Open Knowledge Foundation OKF, until April 2014, then Open Knowledge until May 2016 is a global non-profit network that promotes and shares information at no charge, including both content and data. It was founded by Rufus Pollock on 24 May 2004 in Cambridge, United Kingdom. Aims The aims of Open Knowledge International are Promoting the idea of open knowledge, both what it is, and why is it a good idea. Running open knowledge events, such as Ocon. Working on open knowledge projects, such as Open Economics or Open Shakespeare. Providing infrastructure, and potentially a home, for open knowledge projects, communities and resources. For example, the KnowledgeForge service and CKAN. Acting at UK, European and international levels on open knowledge issues. People In November 2018 Catherine Stiller was appointed as the new Chief Executive Officer of Open Knowledge International. She will join the organization in February 2019. Between 2015 to 2017 Pavel Richter took on the role of CEO of Open Knowledge International. Pavel was formerly Executive Director of Wikimedia Deutschland. The Open Knowledge International Advisory Council includes people from the areas of open access, open data, open content, open science, data visualization and digital rights. In 2015, it consisted of Network As of 2018, Open Knowledge International has 11 official chapters and 38 groups in different countries. Topic: Chapters. Topic: Local groups. Topic: Working groups. It also supports 19 working groups. Topic: Operations. Many of Open Knowledge International's projects are technical in nature. Its most prominent project, CKAN, is used by many of the world's governments to host open catalogs of data that their countries possess. The organization tends to support its aims by hosting infrastructure for semi-independent projects to develop. This approach to organizing was hinted as one of its earliest projects was a project management service called KnowledgeForge, which runs on the KForge platform. KnowledgeForge allows sectoral working groups to have space to manage projects related to open knowledge. More widely, the project infrastructure includes both technical and face-to-face -face aspects. The organization hosts several dozen mailing lists for virtual discussion, utilizes IRC for real-time communications and also hosts events. Advocacy Open Knowledge International is an active partner with organizations working in similar areas, such as open educational resources. Open Knowledge International has produced the Open Knowledge Definition, an attempt to clarify some of the ambiguity surrounding the terminology of openness, as well as the Open Software Service Definition. It also supported the development of the Open Database License (ODBL). Outside of technology, Open Knowledge International plays a role in advocating for openness broadly. This includes supporting the drafting of reports, facilitating consultation and producing guides. Rufus Pollock, one of Open Knowledge International's founders and current board secretary, sits on the UK government's Public Sector Transparency Board. Topic: Technical The foundation places a strong interest in the use of open source technologies. Its software projects are hosted on GitHub, which utilizes the Git version control software. Some of the projects are listed below. CKAN, a tool that provides store for metadata. This enables governments to quickly and cheaply provide a catalog of their data. DataHub, a community-run catalog of useful sets of data on the Internet. Depending on the type of data and its conditions of use, DataHub may also be able to store a copy of the data or host it in a database, and provide some basic visualization tools. 
Open bibliography, broadly construed as efforts to catalog and build tools for working with and publishing bibliographic resources, with particular emphasis on those works that are in the public domain and public domain calculators. Examples include the Bibliographica, Public Domain Works, Open Shakespeare, Open Textbook and the Public Domain Review Projects. OpenGLAM, an initiative that promotes free and open access to digital cultural heritage, held by GLAMs, galleries, libraries, archives and museums. OpenGLAM is co-funded by the European Commission as part of the DM2E Digitized Manuscripts to European A project. Open Economics Open Knowledge Forums Information Accessibility Initiative Open Geodata Guide to Open Data Licensing Get the Data A website for questions and answer on how to get datasets Pod – Product Open Data Events Much of the collaboration with other related organizations occurs via events that the Foundation hosts. Its premier event is the Open Knowledge Conference which has been held occasionally since 2007. Other events have been organized within the areas of data visualization and free information network infrastructure. Annually, Open Knowledge International supports International Open Data Day. Topic: Panton Principles and Fellowships, Open Data in Science. The Panton Principles for Open Data in Science in 2010 had large contributions from open knowledge people, and in 2011, Jonathan Gray and Peter Murray Rust successfully obtained funding from OSF for two fellowships, held by Sophie Kershaw and Ross Mounts. In 2013, OKF obtained sponsorship from CCIA for three fellowships, which were awarded to Rosemary Graves, Sam Moore, and Peter Craker. Other Open Knowledge International also supports Apps for Europe, and Descent, a European project created to share and organize data from seven countries, which is running from October 2013 to May 2016. See also Access to Knowledge Movement Free Knowledge Foundation Open Data Institute Open Education Tactical Technology Collective